Welcome to a new video by DJSPRC. I want to show you how to rebuild an Arma shock. We have one here freshly rebuilt. And we have one here a little bit dirty and not performing so well. Yes, it has bounce to it, but not bounce compared to this guy here. Here you feel like an uh, hydraulically it kind of bounces itself <clears throat> now to change this guy here let's clean it a bit to remove that dirty dirt of abusing and abusing the machine one of the first thing you'll need to do is remove this cap here on top this is the cap that holds basically your spring uh, your tensioners And sometimes what you'll need to do is kind of use something in the top hole. Because if you use your bottom, it's just going to, basically you won't be able to unscrew it. There we go. <clears throat> remove your retainer here. And you'll notice from other companies of shock, normally when you remove your cap, that's where you fill your hole but not on this one here these guys here are filled by the bottom basically you remove your spacer your tensioner and you have your spring now take the time and clean the rest of the shock Now the other thing you need to do is take your shock, completely compress it, and you're going to use this part of the shock to remove the bottom cap. And you'll see it unscrewed itself, and you're going to unscrew for a little bit because it's not a small shock. Bottom body, there you go. And you're going to remove it. Now you might, some of you might have oil in it. This one here, basically pretty much empty. That's telling me it was leaking for a while. Now basically what I do, is just grab a small cup, make a star, cut and just drop inside. That way it stays up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our shock here and try to find my <laughs> my nut driver and remove the top nut that is five mil and basically throw it away on the counter we're going to remove our, our valve body and you'll notice there is a washer on the other side just put this aside or just throw it on the counter like I just did and what we're going to do we're just going to remove this part out of the shock itself now we're going to grab our new parts and one of our new parts here is the physical body the not the body, the shock shaft. It's supposed to have a tab, and you see this guy doesn't have a tab. Like here, basically your shock protector. And our re shock rebuild kit. Sorry for the glare. Now for the shock rebuild kit, I do have one pre-open. This one I don't. Here's our, bo our bottom body. I could reuse uh, basically the middle part that is the um, 
the inner shock body, by inner shock body, I mean the uh, combat ball, uh, pivot balls. But I'm just gonna go brand new. And basically, what I do, I just grab a pair of pliers I have, and kind of force it in. What I do, hold the top, put the bottom, and just basically take the shock bottom and force it towards me and until it pops in. Now we're going to grab this, put it aside. Now what we're going to do here, all of this is right here. These are the parts to rebuild your shock, prevent it from leaking. One of the reasons the shock didn't have any oil because it started leaking. You could reuse sometimes, but I rather rebuild it brand new. What I'm going to do is grab some oil, put some on my finger, and put a little bit on these o rings before I insert them in the bottom cap. Pop one o ring first. Then grab your spacer, pop this guy in, grab a little bit more oil, and the reason you want, I could just basically, there you go, a little bit more, the reason you want oil here, you'll see in a second, let's pop our last o-ring, then the shock cap, in a sense, we're going to clip it. For some reason right now, there we go, did not want to. Just make sure it is seated all the way. You'll see it when you cap it here on the side, if there's a gap. This one doesn't. Now we're going to grab our last O-ring and we're going to go around the complete body until we get to the bottom cap. If you forget about this, basically when you're going to compress your shock, it's going to leak. You don't, you want that. Now the ending, we'll grab our cap or shock cap, shock body, bottom, something. And we're going to just put a little bit of lube on the shaft. Make a shock oil, grab our cap, and basically slide it. And you'll see maybe the first time might be hard to go through and slowly go ahead. There we go. And it's one of the reasons because you want to lube the, the O-rings to be easier to slide them down. I just work them down a bit just to make sure they're lubed up and the shock performs well. We're gonna grab our cap, pop it completely in the bottom. Now we're gonna grab our shock, oh, shock body, but our valve. Make sure they're all put the ring, but the uh, the washer stays on the bottom. Grab our cap, our cap, or a bolt, or a nut. I think I'm having a hard time speaking today. And basically, we're going to tighten this guy back up until you can't. Don't force it. Don't need to. And one part's done. Put this aside. Now, what we're going to do here, grab our cap. What I do, it's going to be extremely hard to show on camera. But I want to see if it's doable, maybe putting a flashlight yeah, not really. You'll see inside there is a ring. It's roughly where my nail is. And I feel basically the shock to that point. And like I said, it is hard to see on camera. You'll notice by yourself when you look at it.
I fill it to that ridge. And now what you're going to do is take your shock. What I do is just let it put it like this and slowly lift it and let gravity bring it down. What's happening right now, the oil is going through the piston. And the reason I want to do it slowly is to make sure I don't create any air bubbles. One of the things you don't want in your shock is air. I'll prevent it from uh, doing his, uh, his job. Now, basically what I do, I slowly screw it back in, making sure I'm straight. The other thing is going to happen to you, it might start leaking oil. That's, don't worry about it. And you'll slowly see it right now, it's coming out. I continue screwing it down. You're better putting a little bit more oil than not enough. And now I turn it until I feel it's snug. Slowly pull the piston out and basically just clean my shock. Bring it back down. It's slowly coming out by itself. That's good. And making sure nothing leaks. And now basically do a fast cleanup on my spring to remove any debris. Now in the kit, they give you some new uh, spring retainer. This one's fine. I don't need to change it. It's going to stay there. Put your shock back in. What I do, I compress it. Put in the shock spacer. Try to put the Arma, because there is an Arma sign on it. Put it straight. And screw a top cap back in. Till I get to the end and let go. This feels a lot better than it was. Now the top cap, you can see the pivot ball is super easy to come out. And this guy is a lot harder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it out. And again, pop a new one in. Grab my pliers, put a little bit of force, and here the snap. A little bit more solid, and there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that uh, bell notification to know the next time I upload a video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.